Hey guys, George here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to improve your overall aim and shot in CSGO. So the first step is to download a custom map from the workshop. So open up your workshop and go to the search box for Counter-Strike Go and search up training underscore aim underscore CSGO. Click on the training aim CSGO 2 because it's the most uh, recent one and click the subscribe button. So after you do that, it click play offline with bots workshop and it should appear under workshop and then click on it, go. It doesn't matter what bot difficulty you guys set it on because it'll kick out the bots in the beginning of the match anyways. So that's pretty convenient that it did that for us. And for you guys, it's probably downloading the map. So it's going to take a bit longer than this, but for me, I already have it, so it's all ready to go. Continue. Uh, it doesn't really matter which side you select because there is this weapon wall. Now, this weapon wall has all the guns, obviously. And <clears throat> you just select one, pick it up, and you're ready to go. So this is the other side, and like here's a view of the map <laughs> might want to do that first and here is a wall where targets will randomly appear and for you to shoot to train your muscle memory and so this is the like the wall with all the settings pretty much and there's different training modes classic which is when the targets will pop out and you shoot as fast as you can uh, angles and sliding which is when uh, targets will pop out at a different angle. You try to shoot it at different angles and different sides and things like that. Reflex training is when there's a huge dot and you it changes colors and you have to shoot the dot as soon as it changes colors. And it's like change your reflex, obviously. Um, burst training, you have to train how good you control your burst. And intensive fast aiming is how fast you can aim to a next target without your gun like going all over the place size how big these dots are when they appear on this wall color is color shots to kill how many kills it or how many shots it takes to kill one of these dots target types um static is when the target is still and you um just shoot it pretty much linear is when it moves vertical and horizontally uh rotating is when it moves in a circular motion amount how many times you how many times the the targets pop up delay the interval between each target target uh static target duration how long each target is up for so yeah i'm just gonna do a quick example each level is like how far away from the wall you are <clears throat> so yeah let's get started so you see these red dots will appear on the wall and usually I like to move in between each dot because in a real match you're gonna be moving a lot and like not really standing still so it's good to play as if I mean obviously your targets aren't um, like your enemies in a competitive match won't be like red dots but I mean it helps you uh, because they do pop up at like random areas, you will get to move your mouse in like a different way. So I'm in a relatively easy setting, so it'll be like, oh my god, he's getting like all the targets. I don't know. <coughs> Not even getting all the targets. So. Out of 50 dots, I got 40, which is pretty bad with this easy setting. Um, but yeah, with um with like reflex training it's just trains your reflex so as you see there's a circle and the colors oh whoop I just randomly clicked but um there's a circle and then it changes colors and you have to shoot it as fast as you can and I'm my reflex is pretty bad so I need to work on that um, and everything else, but in order to keep this video relatively short, I won't be showing everything. 
And yeah, just play around with this. Usually I play on this map before I warm up um, to play like competitive or anything. And then I go into a deathmatch. And it actually helps a lot because my hands are just like, I don't know, they move like differently. And I like... I don't even know how to explain it. It's just muscle memory, I guess. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this little tip. And uh, have a nice day.